And y'all, I feel so awful today. <laughs> I feel so awful today. what's the deal pickles it's another week i just closed out last week's video right before i hit record for this week's video that tells you all that it has been crazy so i just realized i didn't even do the update on the scarf it's because i didn't bring it upstairs um so what is happening now it is already tuesday I know. I know I'm going to start on Mondays. It's Tuesday. We're not even going to talk about that. So what I'm doing today is I'm editing the video. I have client work to do and I am cutting for the quilts along. I really and deep down in my spirit would like to have this cut by today. I don't know how that's going to work because I have stuff to do. So um, at the latest, because here's the deal with the quilts along she does little prizes and i've done and i've linked up before and i've never won a prize it would be pretty cool to win a prize um the other thing is i would love to have it done before she puts out the next clue here's what happens when you start getting behind the clues then everything starts tumbling out of control and i already got my cutting board cleared off set up so i really think that i need to just put on some podcasts and just make it happen. I don't know what I was looking at y'all. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's like priority is to get this, the blocks cut. And I'm going to actually grab the fabrics because it turned out beautiful. Hold on. Look at my fat quarters. <laughs> Aren't they so pretty? These are extra purples from the strip quilt that I was working on. This, um, which what I'm calling Twinkle Twinkle, um, and I'll start piecing that. That's the second goal, piecing that this week. And I have these fat quarters left, and I just thought, don't they look so pretty? And at first, I was like, oh, that's gonna throw off the colors. But looking at them together, look. Oh, I think it's gonna be pretty. It's gonna be so pretty. So, cut the cut that up get the star quilt uh the twinkle twinkle quilt um pieced to um put the blocks together so i'll i'll be showing y'all that this week i have a couple of quick projects that i really need to finish there's a christmas quilt uh christmas quilt top that i need to finish that is a panel and um if i do that one this week i will try my best to record it um and then what else that's all on that when it comes to my story I am going to be working on the short stories that have to be done to close out this year and I have two of them three of them to finish um, that I need to finish up so Lord's will I want to get two of those done and started on the third um, all three of them have already been started so I just need to finish them and so that's it on my writing so that's a full week that's a full 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 week so yeah that's it so there will be a lot of cutting some sewing a lot of writing some editing and getting it in like we do don't forget to tell me in the comment section what you're working on um, a lot of people have been working on Christmas projects I'm not gifting anybody any Christmas projects this year but I am, I guess it's kind of low-key, kind of a lie. Um, I'm working on the granny square blankets, but they're not for Christmas. They are for the winter months for the homeless, um, for a friend's charity um, project. So I'm working on those. So yeah, let me know how your Christmas projects are going. Let me know if you are working on the quilts along and if you have cut your fabrics. Um, and what did you think of her, you know, putting fabric, cutting the fabric for the entire project? at one time so let me know about that i actually had to find a container that was 
that wasn't free, but now I made it free, to get them all cut and put into one space. It is Wednesday and I almost forgot to like check in. <laughs> um, Y'all, I am, today is, I'm trying to just like, the sun is actually out today a little bit and it's bright and so I'm getting full on glare. So today has been an intense writing morning. It's almost time for my lunch break. I've been working um, on client stuff, working on blurbs for um, upcoming projects that I need to turn in for group work. And now, um, <laughs> of course, I will remember when it's time to study. I am working on um, preparing to outline um, a short story that I need to finish. And so, yeah, one of the things, because we kind of talked a little bit about short stories and all I mean not short stories writing um, I mentioned before that I am an outliner and so usually what happens especially in um, group projects because this is a part of a group project I like to challenge myself to either do something different or do something better or to work on something because usually in group projects they're shorter so they don't take me as long to actually write and have the project completed but it it gives me a chance to do something different um, and I can exercise that difference in a shorter amount of words now sometimes that's even harder because you don't have a lot of wiggle room and with this particular project I want to stick to the parameters of this particular style of storytelling and it's something that I think dates back to like the ninth early 1900s oh it was kind of mastered in 1904 or The early it's, it was in the early 1900s I'm gonna say it like that I took a class for this years ago and for the class we um, wrote a short piece and I really liked it but traditionally it was reserved for mystery suspense thrillers um, for magazine writing for magazines and um, circulatory I guess that's what you would call it writing and I want to try it with a romance so it's going to be very interesting and I tried it in the class um, for romance and the the instructor loved the romance that I did in that one so I have three short stories that I need to finish by the end of this year for this group project and I want to try this technique. I would love to master this technique. I've been doing a bunch of novellas which have been around, my novellas have been around 20,000 words, but this is going to be a third of that. <laughs> yeah, I'm crazy. But it's a great mix up between the longer stuff. So I'm just going to have some fun with it. I have all three of the blurbs done, all three of the covers done, and now I'm finishing up the writing. I'm going back this more this after well, I have a little bit before lunch. I'm looking at the time. A little bit before lunch, I'm gonna go through the old instructions and notes 
um, from the class, I also went back and reviewed the feedback and the notes that I had from my instructor for that class. I think I actually took the class like three years ago. Let me see. Um, yeah. Well, two years ago. It was in January of 2017, which means it probably started in December. Yep, it did. It was November to De It started in... Yeah, it started in December, November, December of, 2000, of 2016 then? Oh... Yeah, wow, 2016, three years. So I'm gonna, I went back over that this morning um, I, after I turned in some other assignments. I'm working on this so that I can get a rough outline of how I wanna do this story. And usually when I have fewer words, I like to make sure that I kinda have it. What I want to do, um, nail down for this particular story that I wanna finish today. Um, I had to read one of my other books because she was a secondary character in another book. So I read that book um, earlier this week, took some notes so I can ensure that she's consistent as a character and also so there can be cameos from, other, um, from that book as well. And then I need to build her character. Well, both the hero and the heroine, I, both of the were in the other book but the the man he was not he was mentioned and he was spoke of but he was never on fully on the page and so I have to totally develop him so yeah that's what today is about that and yesterday uh, for crafting yesterday um, I got a little bit of a clip of me ironing and pressing my fabrics for the starstruck even though today the new thing will come out i'm gonna ignore that okay i'm gonna totally ignore it so what i did is i kind of um did um the light homemade starch on them pressed them to get all as much of the creases out of it and i will be starting to cut those today um, I wanted to go ahead and use starch. I don't always use starch, but I wanted to use starch on these because they're going to be stored um, for the next few weeks. And so, yeah, I did that. I'm not even sure what the color combinations are going to be, but what I did is try to pair them as best as I could. And I'll make the final determinations once I cut up the background fabric. So I may do it out of order but I think I need to do the background fabric kind of first so I can see what it looks like because the only color that I'm not certain about is the purple. The purple was just thrown in because I had left over from the other project. Um, but when I lay it with the colored fabrics, it looks good, but I'm not sure it'll look good with the background fabric. So I'm on the fence. So yeah, that's what's up for today. I will probably come back later um to show you what i'm working on but for now i'm about to get to studying so i can get this done and review my notes um before i take a lunch break and when i come back from my lunch break i will be able to kind of dial into it and get to writing
Thursday. This day just breezed by and um, it's been all pretty much client work. Um, I've been a little bit more, I don't want to say sluggish, but a little just kind of, it's weird. My energy level, I, it's hard to explain. I feel like I'm wide awake and my brain is totally clear, but at the same time I'm tired, but not sleepy tired. So it's weird. It's a weird, weird feeling. Um, right now and I just attribute it to my body adjusting to um, the nutrients that it's digesting and the way it's digesting and all of that. So um, it's going to be very interesting to see how I feel um, probably by Monday or Tuesday. Um, I know in the past anytime I've done a detox or a cleanse or a shift in my eating approach, it, usually by day four that's kind of where my body is like, wait a minute. And then from there, it kind of gets better. So I, the wonderful thing is I don't necessarily, I don't feel bad at all. Um, I've been sleeping great, amazing. Um, and so, yeah, as for work today, I didn't get to, I did not finish cutting. I actually didn't even start cutting. So I'm just staring at the fabric. Um, I've been pressing and then, um, Today was all client work, so tomorrow I'm going to probably do half the day on working on my um, projects. And this weekend, I don't have anything major planned, yay, except for the live on Sunday. So church and Weight Watchers on Saturday, and I need to just do a serious grocery store run for this keto stuff because now I realize there's some things that I need to swap out of our normal stuff for for me but um yeah I've been really getting to work because I'm work, working on the story for myself and I'm working on some clients that I'm finishing up on the last deliverables for them and I've kind of decided that I'm not bringing on any new ones just yet um so that is going to be great so that I can finish the projects that I have lined up at least for the next Probably the next two months um, and maybe even through the end of the year because I'm really trying to keep myself paced because I don't have any travel until November and October is honestly like a really big month when it comes to challenges. So those are things that I always like to look at that I kind of keep my eye on that that may be a fun thing to just kind of wiggle around. But I don't know. Um, just right now, the making sure that I'm getting up early and getting my workout done the first thing in the morning has been enough of a challenge. <laughs> but a good one, like in a good way. Like I haven't felt like it's been a hindrance because I'm already up and wide awake. I'm not planning to do like a full blown like keto update, I don't know. So let me know in the comment section. I know one person asked if that's something you guys would like to see um, because I don't know. I can only talk about what I've experienced so far. So far, it's been a, it's been good. So that is it for tonight. Um, let me know in the comment section what you're working on while you're watching this video. I hope it hasn't been boring. I don't know what all I've recorded so far. Um, I think a lot of the footage is going to come from this weekend because I will be working. I also have to keep my eye on the the the, the time because. I have that other class coming up in October, and I think it is October 19th. I think it is October 19th. It is October 19th. So just making sure I have all that stuff cut, which I think I already finished the bulk of it. I just need to cut the background fabric on background fabric on that one so yeah we are rolling rolling with the homies and we rolling
it is Friday morning. You're gonna hear my dog over there smacking. I just um, got back in from a run, walk. It was a walk for me, but, <laughs> but since my husband walked so fast, it turned into like mini walks with sprints. And y'all, I feel so awful today. <laughs> I feel so awful today. Um, I know that it's kind of like my body transitioning or whatever, but it is so crazy to feel like you're totally resting. It's just weird. I don't know. I'm catching out in and out because my finger touched something. To feel totally rested, but feel like crap at the same time. And that's how I feel. So today, this is going to be my check-in for now. I'm going to probably go up and work just being by myself and letting my energy just kind of catch up to me. Um, one of the things that I did, because I'm switching arms here, and it's already making me feel better, is I made this. Um, it's a mixture of um, a BCAA that I take after I run since I do um, intermittent fasting. And I mixed it with an electrolyte, which I bought a whole box of, uh, basically just in Gatorade. I mixed it with like a Gatorade kind of powder, which is supposed to be good for restoring um you know your electric lights and just all the things that your body is expending during this time especially in the transition i'm talking to you in the kitchen because one of the meals that i planned because i bulk i meal prep that i um planned to do which was like this fajita chicken i didn't know when i bought it like because i had just started i just bought stuff that i normally buy but I didn't realize like how, because my carbs are so low, how every little carb counts. <gasps> so look, look, I'm trying to hold this away from my face because I don't have my stand down here. And since every little carb counts, it's like that little bit of carbs that came somewhere in that chicken has got to go. That's what I had last night, even though the dish was so delicious. What I made was so delicious. So I'm redoing it, but I'm doing it with chicken thighs that I already had in my deep freezer. So I'm gonna cook up those now and give my husband <laughs> all that fajita chicken that I made last night. He'll probably just throw it on a salad or something. And um, I'm gonna put those on now and then I'm going for a scavenger hunt at HEB for some uh, other products. I'm getting rid of all these ancillary um, carbs that are just in stuff that I don't need to have like in my, um, my my cream and in my mayo and because I want to make some deviled eggs today as well. So yeah, little stuff like that. I just feel so unlike myself right now. I just feel awful right now. Y'all get me all extra sweaty and stuff. I did had a, an amazing workout though. So I'm pushing through. This may be one of my only updates for today because y'all, I'm going through it right now. But I know it's going to be worth it. At least that's what I hope. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go before y'all hear my dog smacking, licking everything. She getting it in. So I'm out. Is the end of the week I'm recording this video early because today we are doing a live and I want to do some work before we get to the live um, because I have some things to do later for my family so how did this week go this week was like if I had to grade it, it was felt like a C a low C high D <laughs> on productivity and I'm gonna blame keto but um, I started recording this and my battery went, died, and now I'm recording it again. And as I was changing out the battery, it, I realized that I really didn't do as bad as I thought that I did. And let me, I'm going to explain both. 
I was feeling good for the first half of the week and in the second half I was feeling awful and there was one day in particular where I literally just had to just go to bed like you, the way you tell a kid when they're not feeling well just go sleep it off I just had to go and sleep it off but in the meantime what I can say that I did was Every day I worked out, um, Monday through Friday. I did not yesterday because I was out doing household stuff and I didn't today because of church. Um, in the future, I would like that I still do something on Saturday. So I just gotta work out my schedule again on Saturday. But worked out every day, stick to, to plan every day. Um, prepared the meals at home. So all of that was great. And even on the days when I was low um, and not feeling well, I still just worked from bed a little bit um, and just rested when my body said rest. So um, so for my writing work, um, I, there was some books of mine that I needed to read and take notes on. So I did that. I did a lot of things by hand because sitting up at the computer just seemed like more than I could really put together. It was just like that. Um, but I'm glad I made it through the week. And I feel good now. So we're going to take that as a, as a win, as a W for the week. As far as my crafting is concerned, I am behind already on the, the, the starstruck, but we're going to just let it ride. And that is what I am going to work on um, after I stop recording this video. I'm going to get to cutting because I did not touch it. It just it wasn't in my wheelhouse. I finished up a couple of my client projects. I'm excited about that and I outlined two books <laughs> spirit fingers so um it's going great it's going great the challenge that started almost started this all and nothing happened y'all I feel like the challenge is over <laughs> but I'm not ready for it to be over over because that book will be done so listen this is kind of in closing. It's part of the vlog. It's just, yeah. In November, November is NaNoWriMo. And I kind of feel like what's going to happen is if I finish this prequel, that I can embrace NaNoWriMo. So that would mean that right now, this is the last vlog that you're going to get in September. So I really feel like I need to regroup and like just focus on the 31 days in October 31 days get my support count goal and just stick to that 30 days like this <laughs> and go 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 chugga 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 so I think that's what I'm gonna really thinking about and of course I have today or tomorrow to decide because Tuesday is the first so yeah other than that you know, vlogging was a little bit challenging because of that, but I did vlog some on my phone, so you guys still get a full vlog. I cannot believe that last week when I was editing, I had to cut out two hours of footage that you guys did not get. So that's another thing that I need to work on um, and decide if I want to show it somewhere else. Um, part of the footage that I cut out was finishing that knit hat. I showed how I use... Um, a big uh, cable to finish my hats instead of the double pointed needles I use a, a like a 60 inch cable and I showed how I do that so if that's something you guys would like to see let me know in the comment section but that's it we did it another week in the can <laughs> and so um oh and I got like two videos recorded that I need to edit today. So I did well. I just feel like my energy was tapped out because of my body adjusting. But I'm doing well on keto. Um, I'm, which I'm kind of surprised about, but not. So yeah, let me know in the comment section if you have any questions, comments, concerns. You know how we roll in this community. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to thumbs up the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Um, thank you. Thank you to my new subscribers and for my ride or dies that have been here for a minute. I appreciate you all. 
I'm about to get to work and put on some music and rock out. I got my, my Sunday makeup still on. I'm going to keep it on until after the live. And then after that, I'm just going to get some work done, trying to get uh, caught up from where I wasn't feeling well for the past couple days because my energy's back. So I'm off. Take care, sis. And I'll see you all hopefully sooner than later. Goodbye.